In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the Word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through this same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your only begotten Son, having conquered death, over into the realm of heaven, Grant, we pray, to your departed servants who gave their lives for this country that with the mortality of this life overcome, they may gaze eternally on you, their Creator and Redeemer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples, and he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, with the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Paul laid his hands on them. The Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice, 
Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will be, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take heart, take courage. I have overcome the world. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs> For those on the live stream, you cannot see that there is a bird that is flying around in this church. <laughs> And we pray for that bird to safely escape uh, without hitting one of these fans. Uh, any of it. Well, there was another one yesterday that I think came in on Saturday during the baptism. And uh, sister was able to safely escort the bird out uh, as only a Franciscan could do. <laughs> but we're, you know that it said that uh, freedom isn't free. And I think we know that. Um, I think we know that by our relationship with Jesus. The freedom that Jesus gave us to become saints, a freedom to one day pray God enter into heaven, um, it cost him his life, it cost him his blood, and he gave it all over. Uh, in order that we all might live, and that we might have the, the life that we have. Um, oh, poor guy. Anyway, it can hardly do anything but watch the bird. Uh, but you know that there's a lot of people who have done the same. Uh, they have followed in our Lord's example, and today we remember them in this Mass. We remember those uh, who have given their lives in service to this country in order that we might have the life that we have, in order that we might all flourish. And we thank God for them today. That's our biggest duty, I think, is to give thanks to God. And so we take courage because the Lord has conquered the world. In the world we do have trouble, but take courage, says the Lord. I have overcome the world. And we remember today those brave men and women who have had that courage and who, out of love for all of us and out of love for God, paid the final price for our freedoms. Let us now stand for our prayers. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his intentions, his safety, and his health. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our president and the governors and Congress, Senate, everybody that leads uh, our country and the countries around the world, that they might always enact and protect good laws and policies that afford life, dignity, and peace for everybody. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those suffering, 
especially in hospitals and hospice care, the homebound, those who are hungry and homeless, those who are sick in body, mind, or soul, that God might grant them relief, we pray to the Lord. In gratitude for those who have died serving our country, we pray to the Lord. For all those who currently serve our country, that they may be given strength and protection from on high. And we do pray for peace, and we pray for a day when there will be no war. We pray to the Lord. We pray for um, those who are struggling in making big decisions in their lives, that the gift of wisdom might be theirs. We pray to the Lord. And for all of our beloved dead, and for the intentions of the living, in this Mass we remember in a special way Walt and Sally Swedgeman. We pray to the Lord. Almighty God and Father, we place before you these and all the prayers of our hearts. In your mercy and love, we ask you to answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, on the sacrificial offerings we present to you for the souls of your servants. And just as you bestowed on them the dignity of Christian faith, grant them also its reward, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holies. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might have life through him. Let us pray. Through these sacrificial gifts which we have received, O Lord, bestow on your departed servants your great mercy, and to those you have endowed with the grace of baptism, grant also the fullness of eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. I'm very grateful to let everybody know that the bird escaped, and it happened right as we were starting the Lord's Prayer, and you might remember that it's in Matthew chapter 6 that Jesus teaches the Lord's Prayer, and it's that same chapter where Jesus says, look at the birds of the sky. They do not, you know, gather up food and so on, and yet your heavenly Father takes care of them. So I don't think it was an accident. I think it was a response to our praying of the Lord's Prayer that uh, our bird friend escaped safely. God bless you all. Have a beautiful Memorial Day. And remember in prayer those who have gone before us in our, in our service. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth the masses and